Hello everyone, wanted to show you a little project I'm working on here and hopefully it helps some of you out. I've seen a lot of Ford Forum uh, posts for this issue, but only found a solution that I believe may apply to this truck on one page and haven't seen any videos for it. So I thought I'd put a video up here for you guys so you know what to look for on your truck if you have the same problem. This is a 2016 F-350 with a 6.7 power stroke. We have about 210,000 miles on this truck. It's got an interesting uh, problem. It does have a check engine light on for a reductant tank heater. The owner of this truck was telling me when she starts it up, it has a great power while it's cold. As the truck warms up, it starts to lose power and fuel mileage. The fuel mileage decreases dramatically. The power decreases dramatically. And I also notice that it doesn't boost like it should. The boost gauge maybe goes up to about 15 or so. So I verified that complaint by driving it around. And just for the heck of it, I tried clearing the codes and holy mackerel, the power came back. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna demonstrate to you what's going on, show you the lack of power, and then show you how the power comes back after you clear the code. Then we'll go on to what needs to be done to fix the check engine light from coming back on again, what part needs to be replaced. So as you can see, check engine light is on. We've got about 210,000 miles on this truck. It runs great, it's very smooth, quiet, powerful when the engine is cold or when your uh, codes have been cleared. So this is just a generic scan tool here. I'm gonna show you the code that is set. We have a 20BA, 20 Bravo Alpha. Uh, that's the code that is setting. Now, this little generic reader isn't going to tell me the definition of it. It says I have to look it up. Now, the definition of this code is reductant heater circuit A. And 99% of the time, what you've got is a bad diesel exhaust fluid tank heater. You've got circuit A and circuit B or uh, heater A, heater B. Heater A or circuit A is the heater inside the diesel exhaust fluid tank. Heater B is going to be the line running from the tank to your catalytic converter, the particulate filter, all that good stuff. So here's a demonstration of the low boost and low power when the code is set and the check engine light is on. I'm gonna put the accelerator to the floor. As you can see, very poor acceleration for what this truck should be doing and poor power as well. Low boost and bad fuel mileage. This truck should be getting better fuel mileage than 12 miles of the gallon on average when empty. Now we're going to clear the code. Let's see if the check engine light is now off. So you can see the check engine light is off now. Let's go take it for a drive. Engine temperature is at normal. Let's see if we've got any power back. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna put my foot to the floor. Look at the difference. So much more turbo boost and much better acceleration. So essentially what is happening here is that the truck is derating itself due to an emissions component failure. My only guess is this is a combination of a motivation to get your emissions uh, component repaired or fixed. It may also be uh, a way for the truck to emit less emissions, produce less emissions if the system is not functioning properly. I found that really interesting. So this will be good news for the customer. We'll be able to fix her check engine light and the lack of power potentially with one part. So here's a diesel exhaust fluid reservoir or the reductant tank out of the truck. It sits in back of the fuel tank on this one. This is a long truck, it's a four door long bed. It's in the very back here by the rear axle. I've got the old module or the heater out of the tank. It's over here in this box. Here's the old one and just you know, use caution when taking this out, this diesel exhaust fluids, nasty stuff. Um, don't get it on in, on any painted surfaces that you care about. 
Uh, the other thing that you'll have to keep in mind too is when you're taking this out, before you lift this module out, or this little uh, container here out of it that contains the heating elements and the level sensor down in there, you have to rotate it counterclockwise about 10, 15 degrees. See these little notches here on the bottom, those lock in and help keep this in place. So you rotate that and then it comes out. And I believe there's a level sensor in here on this one. Yeah, I, th I think so. To the best of my knowledge, there is. At any rate, some of these will tell you how much is in there. Some of them don't let you know at all. They just say, oh, it's low, time to refill. Here's the new one. It's basically the same thing. We're gonna put it back in, put it back together, clear the code, drive this thing, make sure the code stays off and make sure we have full engine power and fuel mileage restored. The exhaust fluid tank is back in along with the new heater assembly. And make sure that no new codes have set. Okay, good, we have no codes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this thing on a little bit of a longer drive, maybe an hour or two, just to make sure it's had a chance to cycle through those monitors and uh, check the operation of the exhaust fluid components, make sure I did everything correctly, and the truck will be good to go. So let's take it on another drive here and see if it's still got full power. So here we are, about 100 miles or so later. I took it on an extensive test drive just to make sure everything's good. We've got no code set here, We've got no warning lights. We even picked up uh, some fuel mileage. So we're gonna take it on one last little wide open throttle run here just to make sure we got good full power and good boost. Tires don't want to stick to the pavement. So there we go. Good power, good boost. This truck is back up and running like it should be. I well, hope you guys found this video uh, informative and helpful. Maybe you've got a power stroke that has a similar problem. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.